Hi everyone, welcome to WeDraw Studio. Today, we are going to talk about Azure Vase Sponge. So now let's get straight to it. Did you know that sponges are one of the animals? Sponges are invertebrates, no backbone, and are one of the simplest animals in the world. There are about 5,000 species of sponges. Most of them are marine with only 150 living in fresh water. They come in different shapes, sizes and colors. Azure vase sponge belongs to Kingdom Animalia, Phylum Porphyra, Class Demospongii, Family Callispongidae, Genus Callispongia and Species Callispongia plicifera. They live on the coral reefs in the Caribbean, Bahamas, and Florida. They grow up to 45 cm high with a lifespan of 20 years. However, the world's tallest vase sponges grow bigger than a fridge, and are known to live for more than 100 years. Azure vase sponge was first recorded by Jean-Baptiste Lamarck in 1814. It is one of the most colorful sponges in the world. It ranges in color from pink to purple to fluorescent light blue. The entire sponge has a very spongy consistency. Its skeletal system is made up of primary, secondary and tertiary interlacing fibers. It's shaped like a vase, with 0.5 to 1 cm rounded pits and grooves on the outer surface. The inner surface is smooth with 1 to 5 mm scattered openings. The inner wall is harmless and has a constant flow of water. Sea creatures like brittle stars and small fish are found living inside for shelter and natural defenses. The sponges filter the seawater. They consume any plankton and floating living particles that may pass through. The food particles are then collected and stored in cells called chonocytes until they can be used for other purposes by the sponges. Azure vase sponge can reproduce sexually and asexually. Asexual reproduction is when a piece of the sponge breaks off and drifts away. The broken piece, with the right conditions, can develop into an entirely new sponge. On the other hand, sexual reproduction is the primary way that vase sponges reproduce. Male sponges release sperms into water and then combine with the egg and female sponges to form larva. The larva then exits the parent sponge and latches somewhere on the ocean floor where it will grow into an adult sponge. In the past, real sea sponges have been used for cleaning, bathing and painting. It is believed that the ancient Greeks used sponges to wash themselves and their homes. It was even being used by Olympians thousands of years ago. These days, sponges are being used for medical purposes. The derived chemical substances possess antibacterial, antiviral, anti-inflammatory properties that are useful for treatment. Well, that's all for today and thanks for watching. If you like our video, please click the like and subscribe button below. We'll see you in the next video.